over two billion people don't have access to a clean place to use the bathroom. Sanitation is a really fundamental issue, so for me it's a key lever in the development problem. If we can solve this issue, it'll have a lot of impact. And I have a big interest in engineering, but I also have a real passion for applying that engineering to solving real people's real problems. Getting a PhD can be a challenging experience. I mean, there are times where you think, I, I don't know anything. <laughs> but those times, again, um, you can just go back and think about, how did I get here? As a young scholar, being able to think about my intellectual pursuits and what value they brought me and why I was doing them, that's something that I've carried on with me since then. In high school, I realized that I wanted to know more about research. And so that was one thing I did, and that really turned me on to research as, a, as an intellectual pursuit. For me, it was a chance to challenge myself and push myself out of a comfort zone. For Christmas? No. It was definitely hard for my mom to let me to let me go across the country, especially since I'm the, I'm the youngest child. She was really, really good about letting me sort of spread my wings. Oh, yeah, this one, yeah. It gave me the freedom to worry about myself and what I was choosing rather than being close to home, which would have been great for her in the short term, but not necessarily for me in the long term. There are too many times where I've realized that this is a perfect confluence of my passions and my skills that I've developed. It's not a coincidence that I'm here and that I belong here and this is where I can succeed. Specifically what I work on here at Berkeley is trying to see waste as more of a resource than as a waste product. I work on recovering nitrogen from urine. Our big idea here is that we can use urine to disinfect feces. And so then we get a fertilizer out that's safe to handle. Nitrogen is an important component of fertilizers. And so in a lot of developing communities, fertilizers are the things that limit their crop yields. We visited this mountain community outside of Oaxaca. And this one family was so excited to see us and they were showing us their garden where they'd use their urine and their feces as fertilizer. And they said, this garden didn't grow before, but now it does. By solving the sanitation issue, we can solve lots of different problems. There's a lot of research data on the fact that if there's not a toilet at school uh, when girls enter puberty, they'll drop out. And that, of course, starts a gender gap that continues to propagate for decades. I think that a lot of the solutions to our world's most pressing problems are in the minds of children who are simply preoccupied with survival. And so sanitation for me is one way to remove that preoccupation with just surviving. These kids are instead thinking about how to change their own futures and the future of our world.